in this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to fix runner's knee. So we're going to break it up into three parts. First of all, looking at what it is and proper running mechanics. Then we're going to look at a typical, what I would describe as ineffective treatment. And then we're going to look at a proper, more effective treatment. And then at the end, I'll tell you how you can go about putting this more effective treatment into action. So what is a runner's knee? Well, if we look at this diagram here, what we are looking at is what is known as a valgus knee. So that is where the knee collapses inward. So the foot strikes the floor, the knee drops in, and then that causes pain generally on the inside of the knee. So running and walking mechanics, so we've got the foot strike, the knee falls in, what then happens is it shuts off what are known as abductor muscles. Now abductor muscles are the ones on the outside of the hip here. So those shut off, it activates adductor muscles which are the ones on the inside of the leg and then essentially all that's happening because these are shutting off, they become imbalanced and the knee drops inwards. So what we want to happen is what's written here. So you've got the foot strike, now the knee stays aligned. So you've got the foot striking on the floor, you've got the knee staying aligned, so in a sense it's staying centred. What this then means is it means the abductors, so the muscles on the outside, and the adductors, the muscles on the inside, remain balanced, which holds the knee in place. And this is the most important part of it, is we have to understand that it's the hip that's managing, or the muscles of the hip, that are managing the position of the knee. Because when we talk about the ineffective treatment, we're going to be talking more about quadricep muscles and the knee itself. And the typical treatment that most people get when they talk about runner's knee is it's activating or trying to activate vastus medialis. So you, you can see here is this red muscle here. Now, to give a little bit more clarity to this, this is the inside quadricep muscle. So you've got rectus femoris, which sits over the top, just here. And then you've got uh, vastus lateralis out here. So what they generally say is these muscles become imbalanced and um, it pulls on the patella, which is the kneecap, which is just here. It pulls it across and you start getting uh, this pain on the inside of the knee. So we're looking at the balance of the quadriceps. Vastus medialis becomes inactive, which then pulls the patella across and creates the pain just here, as I've mentioned. So the typical treatment of that is to get you doing some very short range leg extensions. So if I just put a seat here, or even if you let down. Um, so what would happen is you'd get someone sat here, one leg would be down on the floor, the other leg would be up, and they would literally be doing just a very short range of movement, up and down, trying to activate um, vastus medialis. The other one is you might have some sort of roller or towel on the floor, and then you'll have someone who's sat down, so arms behind them, like so, excuse my poor drawings, um, but then the knee comes over that towel or roller, down, and then basically they lift up and down, again, trying to activate vastus medialis. Now, this is what I describe as an ineffective um, treatment for runner's knee, for the very simple reason is what's managing the position of the knee and causing the knee to fall in, and in some respects, causing the quadriceps to become unbalanced or the the patella to be being pulled on is due to the hips. So what we have to do is address the hips. If we can address the hips, we are able to manage the position of the kneecap or the knee much more effectively and therefore we get much uh, more effective treatment. The more effective treatment that I'm talking about is focusing on the abductor group that I've mentioned. Now what you'll be able to do at the uh, at the end of this video is you'll see a video pop up here, you can just click on that and that will take you through to go through to a six minute hip mobiliser in the members area. Now with regards to what you'll be doing in that, you are going to be focusing on the abductor group of muscles and what this, uh, this hip mobiliser is aimed to do is to help 
control the knee and prevent the knee falling in. So the abductor group, we're talking about glute medius, and I'm just going to split this muscle in half, which I'll talk about in a second. So we're talking about these fibers, these uh, posterior fibers of glute medius here, and we're talking about this external rotator group just here. So this group of muscles as well, and then you can see sort of glute medius and, well, and minimus at the top there. So all of these muscles here, which includes glute medius here, they or their goal is to keep this knee outward or to move this knee outward. The goal of the adductor group, so the A double D ductor group, these group of muscles here on the inside of the leg and also all the way up through psoas and iliacus. So we've got this group of muscles on the inside of the leg, which are trying to keep it moving inward. We've got the abductor group, which is trying to move it outward. So we need these muscles balanced to be able to hold it in position. So what we're going to be doing in the hip mobilizer is focusing on the posterior fibers of glute medius, which is why I've drawn these in here, because they deal with external rotation and abduction. So external rotation is where the knee starts to point outwards, but so do these muscles here. So we're going to be focusing on these muscles that we're going to be working on to try and get them balanced with the uh, adductor group. We've also got the anterior fibers. Now the anterior fibers do the opposite, so they try and pull the knee inward. So you've got the posterior fibers trying to pull the knee outward, the anterior fibers trying to pull the knee inward. So again, there is some value in rolling this area, but the main focus during this six minute hip mobilizer is to work on these um, posterior fibers of glute medius and the rest of the abductor group, which sort of sit in this position here. So basically it's working on this sort of posterior side of the hip, trying to get that uh, or get these muscles functioning properly. How we do that is with some foam rolling and some mobilizing exercises. So hopefully you found this helpful and uh, hopefully I see you through in the hip mobilizer. So many thanks for watching and I look forward to taking you through the six minute hip mobilizer.